horses in a stable. Yeah. Now I can ride. Oh, and it's time. Yo, I hope this camera actually doesn't like. I hope this camera does the justice how big this damn hill is. So, if y'all don't know, I live in Michigan. Now, there isn't really any mountains in Michigan except for this motherfucker. This is like a small, it's like a, it's like a mini Mount Everest for real, for real. Cause like the altitude is high as hell up here. So like the first sixty percent of the hill, it's cool. Like it's like, it's like a, it's like a nice, good steepness right there. But then when you get to that like second 40%, like that, that second half of the, the hill, straight up. I'm gonna take you up to the top so you can see. You see this part right here, the second part? This ain't no joke. Oh, I'm gonna slip. You see how high up I am? Oh shit. <sighs> Look, you can see half the city from up here. I mean, you all you can see is trees for real, but it's one of the highest points in the city. I'm done. I did 10 times up and down. Whew. Anybody from the city I'm from know about this hill. So, yo, back maybe like 10 years ago, that's crazy that I can say 10 years ago, I'm 22 now. Middle school, I played for this football team. He used to make us come over. We used to work out. We used to practice in the field over there. And then he'd make us run across the street in our cleats on the fireman drill. So, you know, you know a nigga in the back got to run all the way to the front of the line. Keep doing that in our cleats across the street through the parking lot. We're all the way over here getting lines. Had the bear crawl halfway up the hill, sprint the other way up. Had you know all types of Pilates and shit up there going up the hill. And I remember the, it was one of our star players. He came down the bottom of the hill this time. One time he came down here, took his football equipment off, said, "Bro, I'm done with this shit. I quit, bro." <laughs> Eventually he came back. Like I said, he's a star player, so we needed him. But <laughs> all right, let's get out of here. Okay, so as y'all see from the title of this video, my girl is about to light me up because I do crucially need it. It's only like 11.30. She don't got to work till 3. <coughs> Excuse me. So I need to wash my hair so I can brush it down because I don't want it like this. And if she gets a better lineup if I brush it down because that's how I'm going to have my hair. So I'm about to do that, take a shower, and then wait for her to get home. But look, check this out. My girl got me this as a birthday. I mean, it's a Christmas present. It, this is ball wash. It came in like a whole like ballsy brand or something like that. It came with like two various nut colognes and things like that. This is for nuts, butt, and body wash. It's like a, a special for your nuts and butt. Like, should I be offended? Like, does she think my nuts ain't for something? Wait. Mm -mm. Uh, silky blue to keep them laid down. You see it. Hey, so I'm about to eat because I'm hungry as ever. But tell me something. Have y'all ever seen somebody eat a swordfish? All right, so here is the final product. We got swordfish steak right here. This right here is what I call my po' man salad. Right here is just tomatoes. Mini tomatoes, mini cucumbers, and then I put some Caesar sauce, Caesar dressing or whatever on it. And then I made me a blueberry and mango smoothie. I ain't never tried that before, but I just be mixing stuff in the blender. I'm about to go ahead and smash this. And then the next time y'all see me, Emily should be here so I can do this whole line up situation. I hope a family member spoil your favorite show. I hope you bang your toe on the bed frame. You know if you mess up, we gotta break up, right? It is what it is. You had to comb it out first. <laughs> you wasn't gonna comb it out? <laughs> Didn't you already comb it out? No, baby, my hair's flat right now. I only combed out the front part. Alexa, play 2000s hip hop.
It feels fun. So fun. It was so great. <laughs> <laughs> they gave them the um the code to get into a house, like because they have those big padlocks on them. But they, they gave them the code to get into the house. I don't know if that always happens or what, but she fucking up. Y'all tell me, cause I can't really see. There's only one wild spot, but I think that's from birth. From birth. <laughs> Stop! That's care that you gotta be careful with that thing. Ow! What? I'm not saying it's anything you did specifically, but that one hurt. Why? I started off. It was like two and a half, so. And I think I'm. I think I'm fire. I think I'm fire. Good job. Psych. I'm just playing. I let you go. I hope you do your hair, then it randomly starts to rain. Now that we're giving it time to rest, and you know, I brushed it a little bit, look, I got hair all over me. Let's go ahead and check it out. See what we, see what we thinking. I'm gonna brush that. And I will say, I was surprised. It does look really good. Like the haircut itself looks really good. It's even all the way around. So I did let my waist go a little bit because of how long I wasn't brushing my hair. But all around, that haircut is very even all the way over. The hairline is weird because you know when my hair, when my barber does it, he pushes it back a little bit. It feels like he pushes it back, but it's right. So the hairline is kind of weird. And she didn't taper it because I just didn't have her taper it. So this, the hair, the hairline situation is kind of weird. The beard looks good though. I'm happy with the beard and the haircut itself. So overall, I rated like a seven out of ten. It wasn't bad. I was, it came out a lot better than I, than I thought it would. So what y'all think? Go ahead, comment that down below. You know, cause I think my baby didn't do too bad. She didn't do too bad. The lineup's kind of off, but it's cool.